welcome back friends another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video I am going to talk about CAM pathways of the photosynthesis in the series of videos we've been talking about different modes of photosynthesis we talked about the general overview of photosynthesis the light reactions Kelvin cycle which is also C3 cycle then we talked about C4 pathway now let's talk about CAM pathway the full form Crassulation acid metabolism pathway now this is only possible for few types of plants which are mostly present in the very uh, dry climates and very high temperature climates like deserts most of the desert plants generally now to understand cam pathway the best thing uh, that you need to know is the purpose of that pathway similarly that to understand c4 you also need to know the the purpose of that pathway because most of the plants in the in the planet they utilize the c3 pathway which is the general type of kelvin cycle but what happens wrong for the cam type of plants the thing is you know as i told you this is opted for most of the desert plants so in the desert plants they are in the desert environments so in the daytime the temperature is very very high and it's very dry so in that daytime and they also have very less access to the water so those plants need to do a lot of hard work to get uh, hold on to the water from the ground and it's it's really difficult job so whatever water they have they never want to lose that water or lose that water at the end so what happens here in the daytime the idea is for all the plants in the in the leaves of the plants there is a specific region a pores and that pore is guided by different cells and that pore is known as the stomata whenever the stomata opens that is the entry point for the oxygen and carbon dioxide and that is the exit site for also oxygen and carbon dioxide and water from the air so as the air is really dry at the beginning in the daytime then if the plant opens the stomata what it will do it will cause a lot of loss of water of that plant and that will be problem for the plants to leave so to prevent the loss of water what this plant can opt the plant can say like the they they, they remain uh, the stomata closed all the daytime they only open their stomata only in the night time that is the idea but the problem is if they close if, if they take their stomata closed during the daytime then how come the process of kelvin cycle take place how come the process of light reaction take place so to to think about that they initiate the process of kelvin cycle and they initiate the process of the dark reactions in the daytime in the in the in the night time actually they complete it into the daytime that's the idea and here you will see quite easily that the kelvin cycle which is also seem to called as a uh, the dark reaction is going to occur in the daytime that's why we call we not prefer to call it as a dark reactions anymore it's only a kelvin cycle so what we see here in this case of cam plants is the idea that you cannot open the stomata in the daytime because it will be water loss so you can only open it in the night time so whenever you're opening the stomata oxygen and carbon dioxide will be in place so then you need to fix the carbon carbon dioxide in the dark reactions or kelvin cycle but at that point you cannot complete the process well so how the process will work let's see we begin with uh, <clears throat> let me draw two situations here daytime and night time in both the situations what we know is that this is the chloroplast and they also have the vacuole let's say this is the vacuole so the idea here is it the night time and this is at the daytime so what happens in the night time we know that carbon dioxide is in place because they take carbon dioxide from outside because in the night time stomata open in daytime closed okay so in night time when the stomata is open carbon dioxide can take entry and now once the carbon dioxide is inside then what they will do is that they will convert the carbon dioxide into they'll fix the carbon dioxide by adding it to phosphoenol pyruvate and converting phosphoenol pyruvate into oxaloacetate you know phosphoenol pyruvate is a three carbon molecule while carbon dioxide is fixed to phosphoenol pyruvate they'll make oxaloacetate which is a four carbon molecule 
Now this oxalic acid it is converted to malate. So once they produce malate, then they can transport malate. Malate is very quite easily transported across the membrane of chloroplast. So malate can be transported through the chloroplast, then finally to the vacuole. So vacuole has malate. So malate is stored inside vacuole in the night time. Now why is so? Because you know we don't have access to carbon dioxide in this position in the daytime because the, in the daytime the stomata will be closed. So there won't be any carbon dioxide. But we need to carry the photosynthetic reactions. So the best thing in the night time whenever they opens up the stomata they will take any carbon dioxide they want and they will take any amount of carbon dioxide that they need to carry out the photosynthesis in the morning and convert it into the mallet form. Mallet is a chemical form where the carbon dioxide is stored there, right, as an extra carbon. Then mallet is stored in the vacuole. Then what happens in the daytime? They will take this mallet, they will take mallet from the vacuole to the cytosol and then mallet is converted to pyruvate. While this process is going on, it will re release carbon dioxide. Because again pyruvate is a 3 carbon molecule, mallet is a 4 carbon molecule. So converting mallet into the pyruvate with the help of mallet dehydrogenase enzyme, it leaves the carbon dioxide. And then this carbon dioxide can take entry into the chloroplast. And then carbon dioxide can go the regular C3 mode and produce glucose. Because you know at this point stomata is closed. So they don't need any carbon dioxide from the atmosphere because the carbon dioxide they took in the last night, they stored it as mallet. Now in the daytime, they're using that mallet to produce sugar. So now they produce sugar. And the pyruvate that is produced and released in the cytosol, that can be converted, that is transported into the, into the chloroplast and it is also converted into starch and stored there. So that in a sense known as a Cresolution Acid Metabolic Pathways or CAM pathways and the plants opting this pathway are known as CAM plants and examples of CAM plants are generally desert plants like cactus. Those are the desert plants and they generally utilize CAM pathway to prevent water loss and to continue the process of photosynthesis. Okay. So what we see here in this case they are also following the role of converting phosphenol pyruvate into 4 carbon oxaloacetate. So in terms we can say this is also following a C4 pathway. If you don't know about C4 pathway yet, I will recommend you to watch my video on C4 pathway. Then you will get an idea about how this pathway actually works. So here in reality what we are seeing is that CAM plants are generally utilizing a modified version of C4 pathway. But the difference is in the C4 pathway there is a compartmentalization because few part of the stage completes in the mesophyll cells and few part completes in the bundle seed region of the, of the plant or, or of the tissue. While in this case of CAM plants there is no compartmentalization of mesophyll and bundle seed but the mallet is stored in vacuole of the plant cell. That is the only difference here. Okay? Now in any situation if the carbon dioxide concentration is good enough in the environment, temperature is optimum, then C3 pathway is the best possible pathway for the plant to produce sugar, right? So they will always opt for C3. But if there is uh, less concentration of carbon dioxide in air and very high temperature, in those cases only they will opt for C4 or CAM pathway, okay? So that in a sense is the difference between C4 and CAM as well. So I hope you understand the, the difference between C3, C4 and CAM at the end of this video. So if you know this video, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.